It is March 29, 2013, 2.01 a.m. Pacific Time. Folks, I don't know what this is. Uh, I ran across this article, and I'm not sure if this is uh, true or not. I have no way of verifying the information, but see what you think after you read it. It says, Breaking North Korean Photo Reveals U.S. Mainland Strike Plan. Information revealed in official North Korean military photo shows would-be U.S. attack. March 29, 2013. Update, 1449 Korean Standard Time. South Korean intelligence agencies have spotted increased activity on North Korean mid- to long-range missile platforms, an unnamed official told Yong Hap in Seoul. We are closely watching for the possibility of a missile launch, the anonymous government source said. Seoul. Kim Jong un signed off on a plan to ready his forces to target the U.S. mainland and American bases in East Asia following yesterday's U.S. led B 2 stealth bomber runs. The KCNA reported after the North Korean military conveyed an emergency meeting in the early hours of this morning. In a photo published in the Korea's Workers' Party, the KWP paper, the Rongdong, plans for a strike on the U.S. mainland are clearly and therefore probably deliberately visible. The newspaper is widely distributed in cities and often displayed in public places for easy viewing. He finally signed the plan on technical preparations of strategic rockets, ordering them to be on standby to fire so that they may strike any time the U.S. mainland, its military bases in the operational theaters in the Pacific, including Hawaii and Guam, and those in South Korea, a KCNA report in English said. In the below photos, Kim Jong-un can be seen in what appears to be a military command room signing the ready order. And here's the photo. And there he is. In the version, version enlarged by NK News below, the text reads U.S. Mainland Strike Plan, and I would assume it's in Korean, and a larger map towards the back of the command center appears to show the western coast of the US. A composite overlay appears to show Los Angeles, Washington DC, Hawaii, and possibly Austin as primary targets in a North Korean attack plan. Oh great. Sorry folks. In a second picture, Korea, Korean People's Air Force squadron numbers are visible, as is what appears to be flight plans on the left side of the large map on the wall. A 21.5-inch aluminum unibody iMac is on Kim Jong-un's desk, confirming long-held rumors of the Kim family's passion for Apple Macs. Okay. Given that the photo will have primarily been intended for a domestic audience, it will most likely have already served its purpose of demonstrating North Korean military capabilities internally. Most analysts agree North Korea would not be able to hit any U.S. mainland targets. Okay? So they're saying they would not be able to hit any of our targets. A composite of the two photos give a better idea of the scene, although the different focal lengths distort the image slightly. These people, oh, tell you folks. The development appears to be a tit-for-tat response to a U.S. stealth bomber training run Thursday that saw two B-2s fly from Missouri to drop ordnance on an island in the southern half of the Korean Peninsula. U.S. officials said the flights were not designed 
to raise tensions but reduce them by bolstering deterrence in face of North Korea's recent vitrolic provocations. However, North Korea sees ongoing U.S. military drills as part of a plot to conduce a full-scale nuclear invasion of their country. This week, North Korea put its military on the highest level of alert possible and cut a second military hotline. A KCNA report published earlier today added to tensions by saying that the North Korean military was preparing to blow up the strongholds of aggression through precision strikes no matter where they are. Observers worry that with tensions running high and two new leaders in Pyongyang and Seoul, there is significant potential for escalation in the event of military confrontation. Both Kim Jong-un and Park Geun-hye are under domestic pressure to show strong and decisive leadership in the face of each other's threats and a lack of direct communication between the two sides is worrying for some. So what do you think, folks? U.S. is saying that there's no way they can hit U.S. military targets. And these people, well, they're probably making sure that the United States sees all this. Uh, people in America, you see the United States map in the back of this man's hat in, in this photo here? That's clearly the United States right there. Yeah. And I don't read Korean, so I'm unable to translate for you. I'm sorry about that, but this uh, red circle here shows a diagram of some kind. Let's see if I can enlarge that a little bit. Try to make it as large as I can. Well, that's too hard to see. But anyway, there's clearly something in there. Yeah. These people, um... Whoa. They are not to be trusted, folks. At all. Look at this. It seems almost like these people are back in time, you know. They're living in a in a, in a place where they are isolated. They are uh look look at their uniforms, for example. Don't they look like they're stuck in time? Uh, that's probably all they ever t think about is going to war and destroying countries. It's really, really something that, um, whoa. No telling what these people are going to do at any time. That's for sure. All right. Please stay safe, folks. That's it for the report. Thanks for watching.